In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to organize your plugins and do some simple routing of your tracks so that you can add a reverb uh, or something to a, to a vocal. Let's start out with organizing your plugins. You're going to click on either an insert area here where it has this light gray on this theme or you can click on this effects button up here on the TCP. So I'm just going to click right here open my plugins okay so a whole bunch of stuff in here um, the DX there's got the VST the VSTIs the JS plugins the rewire stuff it's got a whole bunch of stuff that is just a little crazy to see so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to my folders and you're gonna right click and you're gonna add a new folder so Let's uh, let's do the first one. Let's just do uh, EQs. All right. So, okay. So now, um, assuming that you only have the the Reaper plugins for now, we're gonna go to the the Caucus section, and I'm just gonna go to Re EQ. And I think I'm gonna put Reefer in there because I usually use that for EQs. Um, and so we're gonna highlight them. You can click on one of them hold control and click any other one that you want or if you want to like say you want to select the whole thing you can hold shift and then click the bottom so but we're just going to select these two so select these two and what we're going to do is you can either right click and go add to and then select the section you want to add it to or you can just drag and drop whatever you're more comfortable with and then after you drag and drop it's going to show you that section boom two EQs there so let's do a couple more and then I'll show you something that's really cool uh, one of the reasons why you would definitely want to do this comp slash limiter okay let's go to caucus again Comp, and now I'm going to just put recomp in there. That's the only one I have. So I have some VSTs as well. Density Mark II. You can click on that, drag it on over. And so that's good. Let's add another one. Let's do an amp modeler. Amp modelers. I think that's how you spell it. Ant modelers and VST, and I just downloaded a whole bunch of stuff from Acme Bar Gig, which is awesome. You got the pre ampus or pre amp use, I don't know how he wants you to pronounce it. So, I'm gonna put all of these right in my ant modeler section, and also in the VST, we've got our shred, which is from them as well. This is the beta full version will come out soon shred but shred in there so now if you look you got some EQ's comps and limiters it's pretty simple to do it just make sure you uh, right click create a new folder and then you right click on the effect you want and add to and then select it and it'll pop it right in there it doesn't copy it out of your master list it just adds to a different folder for uh, organizational purposes. Now let's take this a little bit further. So what if you have an effect that you like but it's got a long name or a weird name. It's like the shred, it's a beta, we know it's a beta but we want to rename it so it looks prettier. So you're going to go to wherever you can see the effect, right click on it and you're going to rename effect. So I just want this to be called shred 1.5 Amp sweet. Press OK and then boom, it's changed. Same for these. Just want to rename these to let's get rid of all the technical stuff to it. <clears throat> and just uh, make it look a little bit neater for my eyes. You can grind to any effect that you want and just uh, go ahead and rename them. So why would you do this besides a little bit more organization inside of this 
this uh, view that we're looking at here. Well, here's why. Get out of here. If we right click on this now, you can go to quick add effects and it has all of our sections here. Amp modeler, favorites, EQ, comp limiter, gates. So when you go ahead and start customizing your menus, you can get rid of um, you know, maybe you want to have bypass here. Get rid of this. You can get rid of this add effect. You can have bypass and show effects chain, maybe. But then you can just have um, these listed directly in your menu. So you can just, it'd be kind of like Pro Tools where you can just right click, quick add, and then EQ, and then Recom. And it opens up and it's on there. Is really cool. That's it for customizing the plugin area. So how do you do some basic routing for reverb in, in Reaper? Um, here's exactly how you do it. So this is just our basic track and let's make another one and name it uh, reverb. Okay, on the reverb send you're gonna wanna put a reverb unit. So I'm gonna go to our newly made menu, right click, quick add, reverbs, I'm gonna add um, this M30 reverb, which I'd highly recommend getting. I don't know exactly how much it costs right now, but I do know that it was free uh, at one time, and I wish I could just give it away for free on the site, but that's not allowed. And now we need to get a track in here, so I'm going to go ahead and import some media items. We have our track up here. We got our reverb here. Now, how do we send it from here to there? Now we're on track one, and just click on this area here, which has a little knob. You click on it, it's gonna pull up your sends area. And then what we're gonna do is where it says sends right here, send to reverb. So now, when I play this, You see the signal's going right over right over there, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want. And you can go ahead and you can adjust how much it sends by just pulling this down right here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's very simple. One of the differences between Reaper and Pro Tools is if you're gonna do that in Pro Tools, you have to stop your session, add an aux track, add your reverb to it use your bus out and then receive it's just a nightmare it's it's 20 different steps and you have to stop your session while it's playing and it's just stupid so it makes it a lot easier you can do it on the fly while it's playing and um, it's just so much nicer so let's see what we want to do if we want to add um, we want to add a chorusser to this as well and my favorite chorusser right at the moment is this one right here where is it ah still well that's my favorite one right now. So I'm gonna add that in there. This one here is definitely a CPU hog. And um, you know, we can change the voices around, whatever you wanna do. And uh, we can actually chain these so that this doesn't actually send to the reverb. We can make it so that this is, you know, not necessarily what you might want to do per track, but this is just an example. You could send to the chorusser, and then the chorusser can send to the reverb track. So if you do that, when you play, it's going to send to all of them. And you could pull down the reverb, pull down this. If you pull down this, as it's chained through this one, then this one, then this one. I use it for some amp stuff uh, where I will have an amp modeler in one track and I will route it to two different tracks, one of which will have maybe a different style of chorusser, just make it and pan them left and right and just make them sound a little bit fatter than you know the amp modeler might. That's how you go to your effects area, right click, create new folder, name the folder whatever you want, right click on an effect and add it to whatever you want to add it to. And this is how you route to wherever you want. That's some basic plugin menu editing and effects routing. It's tutorials for Reaper.com. I'm Johnny from Red Sticker Records.